What's good? How you doing today? Today's video, we will be looking at the double bottom pattern. And uh, again, we'll be referencing things Thomas Bolkowski talks about in this book, the Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns. So he gives a lot of uh, tips and tricks to trading these patterns, things to look for, things that give higher confirmations, uh, better performance. And uh, yeah, that's what we'll be discussing today. So welcome back to my channel. Today's video is again, the double bottom pattern. This is one video in the series of all the chart patterns within this book that I just showed you. Uh, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications on new videos coming out. And at the end of this, if you do gain some value, remember to hit that thumbs up button. That would be much appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's get right into this. All right, so what is a double bottom pattern? Well, first of all, we have a move down, a move up, a move down again, and then we have a move up. All right, so that's gonna be our double bottom. These are our two bottoms here. And at this point here, we will have a confirmation line. So once this, once price actually breaks through that line, that's when we have confirmation that this pattern is actually valid and it has completed and we can look to entering this. All right, so that's just your basic double bottom. Uh, nothing too crazy there, but basically in this book, he does refer to two different types of bottoms. You're gonna have the Adam and then the Eve bottom. All right, so the atom bottom is going to be more of a V-shaped bottom, kind of like this. You'll see it either comes down and just goes straight back up. Some days you'll sometimes you'll have like a pin bar at the bottom of this, um, just a one day pin bar that sends price back up. And then your Eve bottom is going to be more rounded. So it'll look. more like that and you'll have price consolidating down here at this bottom all right so the way these do form you're going to have four different types of them all right so this is going to be your atom bottom and this is going to be your eve bottom all right so basically you can have two of these as your left and right bottom, which is gonna be an atom and atom double bottom. You can have this as your left bottom and this as your right bottom, which is gonna be an Adam and Eve double bottom. You can also have these in reverse, which you have your Eve as your left bottom and your Adam as your right bottom. Or you can have two of these and have both of them being rounded bottoms, both Eve bottoms, all right? So he does give slightly different performance to each of these patterns. However, there are tips that are the same in each pattern. Um, the performance is very minute uh, difference between them. All right, as long as you follow these next tips that I'm gonna tell you, they will perform very similar in all these different bottoms. All right, so now we're gonna go over the tips and tricks that he came up with and that he noticed that gave better performance to these patterns. All right, so like I said, each pattern has slight variation between the actual performance uh, percentages and um, things like that, but the tips are all the same between every formation that we just spoke about. All right, so the first one is going to be, you want to look for a very small variation in price. So you want price to be roughly the same price for both the bottoms. You don't want to see one way up here and then one at a different price way below it or vice versa. You don't want to see that because that hinders on the performance of the actual pattern itself. And um, yeah, you want price to be roughly at the same point. All right. The next tip that he noticed was taller patterns actually performed better. All right. So you want price to look similar to this here rather than looking like this. 
this still is a double bottom. However, the performance on smaller patterns like this did they they just didn't perform the same as when you saw big moves like this. All right. So that's what you're going to want to look for. The next thing he noticed was patterns performed better um, there or they had better performance if between the two bottoms. So from this point here to this point here, all this, if this was between three to six weeks apart, anything lower or more than that, um, the performance actually started to deteriorate and the reliability and the, um, the distance traveled once completed was less. All right. So you're going to want to look for, two, um, three to six weeks from bottom to bottom. So the next thing that he noticed was that the patterns perform better if volume was higher on the left bottom than on the right bottom. All right. So you're going to have volume looking similar to this here where you have your left bottom with high volume and then you have your right bottom with lower volume and the next thing that he noticed also about volume was that if on the break of this level here so your confirmation line if volume actually began to increase you will see better performance on this pattern as well all right so that's all about volume. You want volume to decrease. And if you can, once it breaks, increase on volume. All right. And then another thing that he did mention was that you're going to want to wait for this to actually break this confirmation line. If you do not wait for that confirmation, the chances of this pattern actually completing and being a successful pattern is one in three. All right, so it dramatically reduces the odds of this actually working out in your favor because this is a resistance line. All right, so if price just rejects this level and you got in early, you're going to end up taking a loss on this trade, likely, unless you decide you want to get out at this point. Let's say you got in here, right? You got in early, you 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 noticed that this was going to be a double bottom pattern price started to rise so you were a bit more aggressive and you got in early all right remember that this is a resistance line so you're going to want to look for price to actually break this pattern you can add more here if you want however if it rejects you're going to want to probably get out for a small gain rather than letting this run back against you because the odds are it's just going to continue lower. All right. So if you want to be aggressive, that's up to you. However, you will get better performance if you wait for that break here. All right. Next thing we got to talk about is retraces. All right. So once price breaks that confirmation, two out of three times you will see price retrace back in and around where it broke from all right this happens two out of three times so do not get uh, discouraged if price does come back against you and you got in on the break all right this happens quite often however you want to confirm that you do get another move up you want a confirmation from this all right because this is a reversal pattern so price was in a downtrend, all right? You got to remember that price was in a downtrend. So it's very possible that it doesn't actually bounce from this level, all right? And it does break back through and then you end up taking a loss on this trade. So you want to make sure that you get confirmation again here. And if you do, you can add again and ride this up even further with a larger position size on that trade because now you have a break here plus another confirmation that's two confirmations you got a high probable trade on this all right so if price on the retrace does actually break back through that confirmation line what he noticed was that this is likely going to give up 
all the gains that you've gotten plus some. All right. So you're not going to want to hold on to this if it breaks back through this zone. If you longed it here, if you if you bought this and you were hoping it was going to go up and it if it just breaks back through, that was just a fake out and price is going to continue lower. And that happened almost every time from what he mentioned in this book. So it gives back all those gains plus some. So if it fails here, take your loss, move on to the next one. All right, so let's say you did actually take this position long here and you are a more aggressive trader. Knowing that if it breaks back through this, the odds are that it will continue lower. You could take your small loss and actually short this and the odds are very high that it will continue lower. All right. And that is something that he mentions in this book. It's not something that I'm just coming up with. He did mention that aggressive traders can actually short this because the likelihood of this continuing lower, this just being a fake out is actually very high. All right. So the final thing we're going to talk about before actually jumping into the charts is using the measure rule. All right. So what he mentions in the book is to grab the highest point between the two bottoms. All right. So that's going to be this point here and then go down to your lowest bottom. Could either be your left one, could be your right one. We're going to use the right one here in this example. And then you're going to want to take that and go from your confirmation point from the breakout and your target's going to be up at this point here. All right. So whatever price does in between this, you're going to want to hold this and let it ride let it ride it out and let it do its thing. In a bull market, the odds of you hitting your target, um, their performance on this pattern is 66%. In a bear market, the performance on this has a win rate of 48%. So it's still not bad. Um, and I mean, if you have a risk to reward, that is, this could be like a three to one, four to one. I mean, a 50% win rate on average, let's just say 55% maybe between bull and bear markets with a four to one uh, risk to reward, you're doing pretty good. All right. So it is a very good pattern to trade. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the charts. All right. So this one here is going to be the Aussie dollar again on the daily chart, which is what he looks at in his book. Um, we do see this one. I would consider an atom and atom bottom as we do have more of a V shaped bottom. We'll look at, um, one of the other ones next on the pound dollar. Uh, but yeah, so we have an atom and atom bottom, roughly the same price point for the closes. This one did have a lower low, um, so it, it wicked down a little bit. But for the closing price, they're roughly the same. All right, so if we were to take this trade, what we would do, we would take the lowest point here, take our highest point between the two, and then we're going to want to wait for confirmation once it breaks this level here. All right. So that's going to be our highest point. We're going to want to wait for that to break. I mean, you could, I guess, if you wanted to draw a trend line here. And once it breaks that, if you're a little bit more aggressive, you can do that. But that's totally up to you based on his statistics here, you're going to want to wait for this to break. All right. However, let's play this through and see, uh, see what happens. All right. So now we would have got in on this trade. On the close of this candle, aggressive trader would have got in on this one. All right. So now let's see how this actually plays out. So that did retrace a little bit. As you can see, it retraced back to that confirmation line that he discusses. 
it didn't quite come back to this one here. So there would have been zero drawdown on this one. And do we get to our targets? We do. All right. So our target was in and around there roughly. Now let's look at our actual chart. Let's look at past data to see where this actually ran to. And as you can see, if you look left, we do have structure levels within here. And uh, yeah, now because of that, likely we will see price retrace, which it did. All right, so it hit those resistance levels. Well, these were support before, currently resistance. So we have resistance within this zone here, which it did retrace from. However, our target was within that point. We hit targets, we won on this trade. All right, one thing I didn't note earlier was the volume adding to the confirmation of this. So we had declining volume, higher volume on the left bottom, lower volume on the right bottom. All right. So we had a winning trade on the Aussie dollar for 365 pips. All right. Yes, we did have to wait. What was it? 42 days. However, this one, you just let it run. And um, yeah, you're good. You, you came out with 360 pips. All right, so the next one we're gonna look at is the pound dollar. And this one, as you can see, is an Eve bottom with an Adam bottom for your right. All right, so this is gonna be an Eve and Adam double bottom. As you can see, we have a rounded bottom here with multiple price points around there and then we have a v bottom all right so this one here our highest point between the two bottoms is going to be this level here however again if you want to be more aggressive you could look at the chart and confirm that we had support there Right here, we had resistance, 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 resistance. So you could, if you wanted to, enter in at this point. But that is, again, going to be more aggressive based on the rules that he lays out in this book. All right. But that's totally up to you. If you want to backtest it, you want to be more aggressive on these patterns, you can if you want to be. All right. There is no set way to trade. All right, it's all based on how you want to trade your backtesting and yeah, your, your style of trading really. All right, so if we do take that highest point, we're gonna have price confirmation right here if it breaks. And our target's gonna be up top in and around this level. As you can see, before price even gets to that point, we do have some area of structure, right? We came down, we had resistance, broke through hard, and then we ranged within that level, all right? So that's gonna be our target. Again, if you want to be more aggressive, you can have a larger target in and around there. So this is going to be an 800 pip move. The other one is going to be a 600 pip move. So it's really up to you if you want to be more aggressive, you can be if you want to be. All right, so let's let this play out and see what happens. All right, so the aggressive trader would have been in on this trade already. They would have got in right here on that close. All right, now this one here, we would have had our conservative trader in on this position as well. And price retraces back strongly. So that conservative trader actually would have had a drawdown here. 
All right, let me get rid of this quickly just so you can kind of see what's going on. So our target's going to be up in and around 158. But as you can see, our conservative trader would have had a slight drawdown here. All right. And if you wanted to hold on to it, you can. However, like we discussed earlier, the odds of this actually breaking through and following through lower is actually pretty high. So it's up to you if you want to hold this trade. However, that aggressive trader is doing very good so far. All right. And this one hit our targets. All right. So we did have a retrace. We had our move back up and we hit our targets within our structure zone. And let's see what happened after. So it did reject that level and we moved lower. All right. So that's your two different ways that you can trade this pattern. Like I said, there are four of them. You have your Adam and Adam, your Adam and Eve, your Eve and Adam, and your Eve and Eve bottom. All right. But those are our two that we're going to discuss today. Um, but there, you can trade them all the same. There is no difference between them, just the way they look on the chart. All right. You're going to want to wait for price to break. And then you can enter. You could enter on a retrace, um, whatever you want to do. Make sure you have your target set. Do not expect a full retrace off this because as you can see, price was moving down, all right? Like let's take our Fibonacci from our highs here to our lows. And we have roughly a 50% retrace. So we are moving down, all right? So you're not gonna wanna take these patterns and expect a full move all the way back up to these highs. The odds of that are very, very low. All right. You want to be reasonable with your targets, use the measure rule, set your targets and let it play out. The odds like he wrote in this book in a bull market, you will hit your target 66% of the time and in a bear market, 48% of the time. However, Looking at this pattern here, if we would have taken a long, let's say we were the aggressive trader, or let's say we had a 100 pip stop loss and our targets up there, that would have been a seven, over seven to one risk reward. All right. So if you're hitting targets, let's say this is a bear market and you're hitting targets on these patterns 48% of the time, but you're hitting a seven to one risk to reward you're doing very well. All right. So don't you don't need a huge move up all the way to these previous highs. All you need is a move, a measured move. All right. So anyway, that's all we're going to discuss for today is the double bottom patterns. Next week, we will look at the double top patterns and see if there are variations between the two. And if there are better performance for the double tops rather than the double bottoms. And we'll go from there, see if there is little tips and tricks that he mentions in this book that work better on the double tops rather than the double bottoms. All right. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be much appreciated. Uh, it really helps with the algorithm and getting my video out there to more people so they can learn from this too and help them in their trading. All right. Um, also, if you haven't already, Subscribe to my channel. I will be releasing more videos on chart patterns, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, trading psychology, all things like that, as well as uh, market analysis, showing you positions that I'm looking to take in the market. All right, so that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. Hope it helps you in your trading. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Have yourself a good day, a good week, and trade green. Take care. Go.